the executive director of Film Mr. Art, and today I am joined by John by your boy Cam. I'm an assistant scout with Film Mr. Art. Nice to meet y'all. Pleasure to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Cam's debut film session. He's doing it with um your boy here, so we're gonna make sure we take care of him and show him the ropes and do it the right way. Before we start this film session on the outstanding player that is Marvin Harrison Jr., we have to take a pause here. Um, an acknowledgement of Juneteenth. What is Juneteenth? Juneteenth is the day, June 19th, 1865, when the Union soldiers finally reached Texas when they told the final last 250,000 slaves that they were free. Um, it's a monumental holiday. It's a very important holiday, not only to Black culture, but just history in general, acknowledging the final abolishment of the evil um, activity of slavery. So we have film this art to you and to anyone out there that celebrates or respects the holiday of Juneteenth. We wish you a happy Juneteenth and never forget where you come from. Marvin Harrison Jr. Cam, Marvin Harrison Jr. is the best wide receiver prospect since who? For some people, they're, they're going to say he's probably the best wide receiver prospect since Megatron. And I know those are lofty expectations since you know that's he, he just got compared to a hall of famer but he has that type of potential and ceiling to where he he can be that good hell i mean his his father is a hall of famer as well so and a lot of people feel like he has the same potential to do that so really yeah. really nice prospect to, like if, if you have a chance to get him in this upcoming draft you're not you're not gonna miss out on a on a great prospect if you get him. For sure, man. We're not gonna waste no more of y'all time. The Marvin Harrison Jr. film session starts right now. Marvin Harrison Jr. has a great combination of size and speed for the position. He's extremely versatile. 50-50 balls are absolutely his. He's an elite tracker of the football, just like his father an outstanding route runner. And one thing I would like to see him improve on is his yards after catchability. What's going on, you guys? It's Artie here from Phil Miss Art. And today I have a special guest with me. Go ahead and tell the people who you are, my man. How y'all doing? Um, I'm Cam. I'm the assistant scout for Phil Miss Art. And uh, this is going to be my first video on here. I love talking football with you guys. We're going to get right into it. All right, so on this play right here, Marvin Harrison Jr. shows that he can beat the press, get off me, go ahead, give me this ball, and got a, got a nice little gain off of that because he's he's not afraid to engage any corner when it's between him and the ball. That's nothing he'll ever be afraid of. Exactly. You see here on this play uh, how he's able to stop on a dime and get two defenders to back off. That's how you know you're putting fear in those defenses when the defensive backs are trying to double you and they both are like scared out of their shoes um, of your presence. Again here, a really, really good job on the corner route. You know, really being able to turn that defensive back around. When CJ Stroud, you're gonna see from the cartel angle, when CJ Stroud's back foot hits, that ball's out because he trusts Marvin Harrison Jr. to be where he is. Yeah, on this one, he shakes him out the shoes, come back inside for a nice little 15 yard game. You're gonna see it right here. Comes out the brakes, he knows where he wants to go. Bow, easy catch. Almost, almost got him a touchdown off of that one right there. Yeah, same thing here. Another slant route, fighting through the contact of uh, top 50 pick and Joey Porter Jr. Um, doesn't matter, he gets it done. Um, Marvin Harrison Jr., as far as those 50 50 balls, they really 50 75 his way. Um, same thing again here. Another really good throw by Stroud. You're going to see a lot of these throws by Stroud are really good. But you see Marvin Harrison Jr. understanding leverage right there and getting down and making the catch. All right, you're going to see here right here on this bubble screen, he's lined up. Bam, comes to get it, grabs it. But he doesn't necessarily show the yak ability you would love to see out of that play. Um, his, his receiver actually gives him a decent block. He just doesn't really hit him with a good move. And, you know... Some we wish you could see a little bit more on. On this one, you're going to see him running a uh, mid-level concept route. Uh, fights off the hands of the DB, makes a great catch knowing that contact is coming. Holds on for another great game. Uh, you're going to see it from this other angle. Bow right there. 
caught it knowing that Seven is going to try to tattoo him. Yeah, man, you're going to see here another example of why we want some more yak ability out of him. You see, he's going to reverse field, right? But he only gets, what, five, seven yards, Cam? And then he gets Killy Ringo to come from behind him and strip him from the other side of the field. Like, you're going to see Ringo's up there, like, trying to kick create pressure on CJ Stroud. And yeah, then, and he, he, he fumbles the ball, and luckily it didn't hurt the team as, as much as it could have. Exactly. And then you see there the, the drop pass on the goal on fade. You shake Kitty Ringer out of his shoes, but catch the ball, bro. It's the freaking um semifinal championship game. Again up here you see the uh separation over the middle. Another great throw by CJ Stroud. Um but you see the separation over the middle. So as we're gonna see on this upcoming play against Georgia, he has a very bad concentration drop in my opinion that could have got him a nice little game and it's not an issue that he has with his hands because he, he's very great he's a great catcher of the ball as we're going to see with these next two uh, plays so right here comes off fights against him oh come back fights through the pass interference come here give me that ball it's mine um you're going to see it one more time <laughs> he's going to fight through fight with the DB's leverage it's still like no I don't think so with the flag on this one as well, he's gonna kind of do the same thing. He technically fights with the DB's leverage. It still is like, no, I'm a better athlete than you. It's my ball. Right? Look at this angle. Fights back to the corner. Thank you. We're gonna see here. So he sees that you know it's a bail little cover in the zone, cover three, I think, right there. And he doesn't make this. It's technically incomplete, but I should show this to show the actual ability to catch the ball with body control. See what I'm saying? In the very next play, um, <laughs> ball downfield, it's mine. Like Kayla King, you're a baby. You're a little boy. What, what are you even doing? What are you? Why are you even trying this? See what I'm saying? Like that, the ability to catch the ball downfield, separate downfield. You're gonna see it again here. Beats the jam on his head like on his head that the ability to really just catch those 50 50 balls is just really something that's really going to stick out when he gets to the league now this is outstanding right here y'all so you see the reroute up top right he reroutes again got malachi starks chasing ghost continues to work open for his quarterback and scores a touchdown now mind you i've already showed y'all this in the cj stroud film session where he had the great pocket awareness that person who was pointing to is Marvin Harrison Jr. Easy catch in the back of the end zone. But that's not good enough. Let's do it again, right? Let's do it against Keely Ringo this time, right? You see him. Ah, it's not there. Continue to work, continue to work, continue to work. Ah, feed me, TD. He, he, him and CJ Stroud were so in sync last year, so good with understanding where he was as far as his progressions. And I expect that to continue with Kyle McCord or whoever is Ohio State's quarterback this season. Very, very simple film session. Very, very easy going, very easy flowing film session. Yeah, man. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. is a very entertaining prospect to watch. I mean, he's 6'4", out there running like a gazelle and beating people off the press. Like, he's very entertaining. Might be one of the most entertaining college football players to watch this upcoming season. For sure, for sure. Be on the lookout for our next film session where our DB guru, Dalen, will talk about how much he hates Kool-Aid McKinstry. Y'all enjoy Juneteenth. Peace.